Here's our first look at Find the Flame from Final Fantasy 16. This is Clive's song as described by Soken. Is it about Clive? Is it about the main theme? I don't know. I've never heard it. Let's go. Oh my god! Ooh. Ooh. Hyperventilating. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> mm. uh, 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 that is thrilling, right? Oh, Ooh. hang on. Okay, let me. I want to talk a little bit about it. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm not hyped anymore. I'm chill. I'm relaxed. Just gonna listen. I'm not gonna. Okay. So right, the way it starts, bum 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 bum, short 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 short. That is a galvanizing sound. Now that that sounds like a battle theme. Actually, it sounds like a battle theme. It sounds like Clive is fighting. And he finally like understands who he must be as a warrior and as a as a as a, as a person on, on this journey of life. And so there's this like bum 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 bum. I've got this. I'm gonna move forward in my life and I'm gonna take care of this because I know that to be the best version of myself, I have to go. It's energized, it's uh, amped up, it's ready to go, and it's it's full of amp and uh, angst. And uh, But the cor the male chorus here is just like, okay, I'm, not, I'm still hyped, I'm still hyped. Hold on, hold on, let me listen.
that brat that low brass and that low like drumming kind of quality it's so full it doesn't sound sparse at all it's so dense it's incredibly satisfying <laughs> And I think something that really is cool, especially with the human voice, is when we're doing You get a sense of breathlessness, like, I gotta pick myself up. I will not be stopped by anything. I will not be, you know what I mean? It's like, it's very galvanizing, like I said earlier. And, and, and I think the short crispness in that choral writing is super satisfying. On top of this like bad ass, heavy drumming. It's it's so satisfying. So then it continues and you have a, a counter melody and a counter melody in the uh, strings where, where underneath you have bum, 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 bum. What it does is in a way, keeping it kind of like melodically tight where it's probably like what, an eight measure melody really helps uh, us as listeners to hear it and to be amped up about it. And also it like places itself in the brain. Now this is like incredibly catchy despite how simple it is because it's, it's complicated because it's simple, but it's also dense. And so vertically, it's very stacked musically. And what's cool is that you have a short melody line that is persisting throughout each measure, each four, like four bar phrases. And by four bars, I mean one, two, three, four. Um, and then you repeat the phrase in the next four bars, four bars on the music staff, on the music notes on the page. And so what it does is it kind of loops, but it loops in a way that like you can kind of fiddle with it a little bit. It's, it's incredible satisfying to listen to. So that is sick. <laughs> it's the first moment that we have like legato. And even though underneath we still have this bum, 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 with the males right here, you there are sopranos singing but, but but again it's weird because it's like the way that it's written what it is is re-emphasizing each note while keeping this connected line and usually it'll be like a uh, a nice little like connector line for the singers to indicate to them hey this is staccato there might be dots over the top of the notes but let's keep it moving so it doesn't lose that intensity we're not doing like a florid aria here we're keeping it flowing we're keeping it moving so that we don't lose that intensity but then here we shift again and actually that's such an awesome musical gesture so now we have the complete melodic phrase <laughs> And then this is the really effective part. So we don't go. We don't stop there. We don't go back down. We go. That is find the flame. Going up instead of going down creates this feeling of like, oh, all right, I can do it. It's extremely satisfying, extremely effective musically. You hear how it resolves differently? Usually when we go up, we must come down. But instead here, Soken does. Oh, that's good. That's good writing. And then we get a period of like peace here where we're only, well, peace, where we only have the brass. So we move the choir away. The choir is giving us a very intense, very human sound. We pull away and we only have the brass sort of repeating its own sort of repeating the melodic phrase that we heard in the, in the singing, in the singers. But now we have a little bit of like chill time where the brass has their own kind of melody. So they're, they're dancing with each other. Ooh, ba, ba, 
And now you have doubling in the strings and in the voices, which then elevates everything we've heard before. Now listen to how we trade. So now the strings up, but now the vocalists are the short ones. Fine, the flame, fine. The flame, fine. The flame, fine. It, it's super smart. Key change. That's also fun. Suspension. And then we shift into the loop, the repeat. I like this sound a lot. I really like this sound a lot. And, and you know, I think that it's inevitable, granted who's on the team for this to be compared to Final Fantasy XIV. And while I think that Final Fantasy XIV is a phenomenal soundtrack and there's hundreds of great tracks, I'm really excited because Final Fantasy XVI is going to have its own musical language, its own musical style. And sure, there may be motives that we may be familiar with, but I really feel that Soken is a very smart composer, and and I, I do believe that this will be very different from Final Fantasy XIV. And, that, and that's a relief, because you don't want things to sound like other things just because people are working on the same projects. Like, everything needs to have its own identity. Final Fantasy XVI is a really important mainline Final Fantasy game, and it's really imperative that it have its own sound and it's really beautiful to really be a fan of Final Fantasy in this moment I mean for me personally I grew up with Final Fantasy and um, it's it's such a, a wonderful moment I think we've gone through such a wide variety of composers in the Final Fantasy series and I'm really excited for Soken to take the helm here I'm, I'm really 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 looking forward to this this is find the flame from Final Fantasy 16 and boy I think we're really in for a treat and I honestly can't wait for those chill tracks too because Soken is able to write a wide variety of styles, and I'm really, really pumped to hear this. This is incredibly bombastic, but then also to hear some of the more chill ambient tracks that I heard in the gameplay trailer of just exploring uh, a wooded forest, which, you know, I think will be a nice a nice break from some of these more intense tracks. And uh, I'm looking forward to a lot more chorus too. There's going to be a lot more Final Fantasy 16 content on this channel, including an entire playthrough uh, live. Feel free to check out links in the about section if you want to support the channel. Feel free to join the Discord if you're a Final Fantasy nut like I am. As always, thanks a ton, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.